evening, Luxbots. So today I'm going to be going over one of, I think, everybody's favorite character from Alice Madness Returns, and that is the Cheshire Cat. And while I can't really do his voice, this is definitely good for cosplay, and definitely good for just dressing up and looking creepy. And I know it's been a couple days since my last video, but I was at IBS New York, so I do have a good reason. Also, a big thank you to everybody who met me up there, and everyone who attended my classes and my demos. Next stop, America's Beauty Show in Chicago. All the products you see are listed somewhere around the video, and don't forget to go to Facebook and check out my page, Made You Look by Lex, and like it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. Perfect. To start off, I used Urban Decay Eyeliner in the color Yayo. This step is completely optional, but I'm just outlining the basic features of the Cheshire Cat. I then mixed together a white and a black chroma cake from MAC to make gray. Now applying it all over my face with the Made You Look Foundation Brush. Going back in with just a basic white MAC chroma cake or paradise paint, I'm making the spots on his cheeks like a kitty would have. And also making a little puff of white and kind of a slightly angry expression on the eyebrows. I'm then also going to be going over a new technique that I actually just learned in the Illusion magazine. I'm applying the white around the bottom of my chin with the foundation brush very light. And then I'm taking a slightly damp fan brush and just running it through the paint to give an illusion of fur. Super cool, I was so excited when I read about this. And I'm also using a tan matte chroma cake to fill in the teeth. I haven't found any other brand that actually carries this color, so I pretty much always use this for like tan-ish teeth. I'm applying it in large squares looking at the character, also keeping in mind that there's going to be two larger teeth and I'm applying it with the Made You Look eyeshadow brush. Then using the Made You Look detail brush and graphite from Mayron, I'm going to be filling in very lightly in between the teeth. In some areas I'm going to blend them out a little bit towards the top to give a little bit of a shadow from the upper lip. I'm also going to be using the Made You Look eyeshadow detail brush and also a yellowish type eyeshadow to give it a little bit of shading on the teeth. After that I'm also going to add some white shadow on there for some highlights. To fill in the gap in between the teeth where my mouth is slightly open, I am using Paradise Paint in Black and the Made You Look detail brush. I then mixed quite a bit of water in with Red Paradise Paint to get a very light, kind of translucent looking red. Now applying that to the front teeth is blood. In the game it's a little translucent so I wanted to keep about the same color. Adding less water, I made some darker spots as well. Using the Made You Look Shadow Detail Brush, I'm then taking graphite, but you can really take any gray shadow and shade in the edges of your mouth as well as right underneath the upper lip and right above the lower lip. This is casting the shadow that the teeth are pushed back. I'm continuing to use the same color to also make his lower lip, which is pretty large on the character. I also switched over to the Made You Look Small Eyeshadow Brush. From there, I took a little bit of the white paradise paint and just highlighted the top of his lip where the light would naturally be shining on it. If you feel comfortable using black, also shade a little tiny bit underneath the lower lip as well. I then went back in with the Made You Look Detail Shadow Brush and very lightly took black along the bottom of the teeth to cast an even darker shadow. This is totally optional, but the character in the game has a little bit of pink in his teeth, so I'm going to be adding a little bit of blush on each side. Taking any small Made You Look brush, use Black Paradise Paint to fill in your nose, and then also connect that line to the top of your mouth. I'm then going back in with a new technique that I learned, and I'm actually dipping the fan brush in paint this time, and very, very lightly creating some white fur to break it up even further. I also decided to add a little bit of yellow shadow, try that out with the fan brush, and add that into my cheeks. Around the nose, I also went in with some eyeshadow on the fan brush, but because this fan brush was a little bit too large, I decided to switch over to another brush, which then became the Made You Look Detail Brush. I went ahead and added some shading using graphite around the nose, around the mouth, a little bit on the cheeks, extended the smile up a little bit further and kind of rounded it out like it's some high cheekbones, and added a little bit of a grouchy expression in the eyebrows. I then went back in on my forehead and on the sides of my face using the same graphite color and created some more fur. For my eyes, I used the Made You Look eyeshadow brush and applied black paradise paint to my lids. I also went over this in carbon, which is eyeshadow. And then taking the Made You Look detail brush, I followed the same pattern that's on his face of the original character and copied that onto mine. Relining 
my eyes, I used Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner. Continuing to use the Made You Look Detail Brush and Black Paradise Paint, I also went ahead and added my whiskers. They're thicker on the outer part of the cheeks and thinner towards the nose. I continued to go ahead and make my shading a little bit darker above the nose and underneath the eyes using the small Made You Look eyeshadow brush and also the same color of graphite. I then very lightly with the Made You Look Detail Brush added a little bit of gray fur throughout the whites. Starting on the chest is actually really easy and I'm using the same mixture for my face as I am for the body. I'm just kind of painting on a general outline using the Made You Look Foundation brush of where the body is going to be. It does not have to be perfect at this point because you're going to clean it up with black anyways. And now we're cleaning it up with black. I'm applying Black Paradise Paint in the Made You Look Foundation brush, and because I knew I had to go over it again later on anyways to really outline my design, I left it a little bit patchy. Throughout this entire process, we're going to be using the eyeshadow color in graphite and also the Made You Look eyeshadow brush. I'm outlining a really long U in the center of my neck, and then shading it in towards the center, leaving the outsides of it dark and the inner part of it lighter. Going back in with optional carbon, which is black, I'm going to be creating stripes throughout the front. And even though you're making these stripes, be sure to outline the entire area, but don't blend it in as far. Going back to graphite and just continuing those spikes along his neck. And then shading the corners closest to the black part with carbon. This will give an awesome illusion of them sticking out. I'm then using the Made You Look eyeshadow brush and graphite eyeshadow to outline where his collarbones would naturally be. Keep in mind, they might not line up with your natural collarbones. I'm also going to be doing some shading along his spiky shoulders and creating some holes in his chest. And creating some holes in his chest using the same technique of applying graphite first and then going in the darkest edges with carbon. Once you're done completing your details, you can go back in with the Made You Look eyeshadow brush or foundation brush and darken up your black. 